Hi guys, so this week's Money Monday is coming all the way from Puerto Cerro, Sardinia. Rocco and I are here on holiday with my brother, my sister-in-law and my gorgeous little niece, Scarlett, who Rocco calls Starlet. We're having the most amazing time and we're staying at the most beautiful hotel, which I will show you at the end of this video. So before I begin, I want to share something with you. Now, my channel is all about educating you, um, inspiring you and motivating you to make better decisions in the way that you use money in your life and, and build money in your life and help create more financial freedom and harmony in your life. And I'm a big believer in leading by example. And whilst I am, I think, very responsible with money, I'm very good at managing my money and, and looking after it and, and investing it and building it and protecting it, I'm human and I sometimes make mistakes. But because I always want to be as open and authentic and honest with you as possible, I want to share something with you. And I actually made a mistake. And by sharing this mistake with you, I am hoping that you won't make the same mistake as me and you'll benefit from my error. So this video is um, all of the things you need to, or I should say some things you need to think about um, when taking out travel insurance. Travel insurance is so important. If you can't afford travel insurance, you definitely should not be going on holiday. And whenever I go on holiday, I always take travel insurance out. Um, it's really important. I've had, I've actually had numerous claims. I've had w sorts of weird things happen um, on holidays. And I know a lot of people have had really serious medical dramas happen on holiday and they've fortunately been insured. I remember one time I um, came back from, um, I think it was Mexico, and a huge container of bright purple conditioner exploded in my suitcase and it destroyed and stained so many of my clothes and it was so bad that it even seeped through my makeup and you know destroyed all my um, eyeshadow palettes and blushes and stuff like that and the insurance company were amazing when I called them and explained to them what happened I took photographs of everything and and they um, met my claim really quickly and it was a pretty smooth process so um, it is so important to take um, travel insurance out when you travel because life happens we miss planes we get sick um, things get stolen, um, things go missing, um, you have a decision to protect yourself. These are the things you need to know when taking out travel insurance. The first thing is to make sure that your travel insurance policy covers you for the whole time that you're traveling. Some travel insurance policies only cover you for a certain amount of days or a certain amount of months. If you're traveling beyond that, you need to check the fine print. You also need to check exactly where you're covered. Some insurance companies will not cover certain countries that are deemed dangerous or unsafe or having certain political issues. So definitely, again, check the fine print. Next thing is, is if you have any pre-existing conditions, particularly medical conditions, you need to make sure you're covered. For example, I remember once we were on a family holiday and my father um, had a serious problem with his eyes and um, we had to all basically pack up and come home. And because my father had a pre-existing eye problem, um, his insurance um, claim could not be met. So, but we knew that at the time, and, so, and we took that risk. Um, that we took that as, a, I guess, an informed risk. But it is so important if you have a pre-existing medical insurance, uh, pre-existing medical problem, not only check the policy, but also give the insurance company a call before leaving the country. The next thing is, is make sure your insurance company is covering you for all the activities you're doing. If you're going on a very um, uh, ambitious holiday with lots of you know, dangerous activities um, like skydiving or bungee jumping and things like that. Um, again, check the fine print that you're covered. The other thing is, is when you're taking out insurance policies before you actually buy it, check how much you're actually covered for. Especially when it comes to personal belongings, you know, they might have a very low cap as to how much you can claim. And when things do go missing and you add up and see how expensive these things are up to, you want to make sure it's got a, a fairly high, um, I guess, ceiling as to what you can claim. The next thing is about negligence and responsibility. If you submit a claim and it's because you are either being negligent or potentially under the influence of um, alcohol and the insurance company knows that, they have the right to decline your claim, which can be really serious. And particularly if it's a medical um, claim, those medical claims can be incredibly expensive, especially if you need to have a, a plane that flies you home. So again, not only should be responsible whilst traveling, but also be aware of the limitations of what your insurance company is, is fairly covering you for. Next thing is, if 
anything happens, make sure you report it immediately. So for example, if you have an accident, make sure you obviously go to a hospital, get all the reports and call your insurance company immediately. If something is stolen, make sure you lodge a, a police report within 24 hours of it happening so that it's all very, um, you get, there's no sort of question of fraud for the insurance company. Second last thing is try and take your insurance policy out when you book your holiday. Now by doing that, if something happens, for example, like you lose your job or you get sick and can't go on the holiday, you can at least be insured under the cancellation. Whereas if you took your insurance policy out just before leaving, you may not necessarily be covered or even worse, take the insurance policy out whilst traveling. My final bit of information that I want to share with you that you should know about travel insurance is activation. And I will share with you my story. So I have had the same credit card for probably about, I think, six or seven years, and it includes complimentary travel insurance. And over the last six years, I think it is, it has um, activated upon me paying for my airfare and accommodation on my credit card. I assumed it was active. And um, recently they changed the policies and procedures and you actually have to go and manually activate your insurance by entering in through your internet banking the dates that you're traveling, all the countries that you're going to and the people that you're traveling with. Now, me being busy and not reading the fine print and um, just making a very silly mistake, didn't actually activate that cover. Now, I had a base level of cover from booking that holiday and paying for it on my credit card, um, which I paid for in full with cash. Um, I didn't actually activate the, the comprehensive level of cover. And unfortunately, my suitcase got stolen and whilst it was, it's just materialistic stuff that really doesn't matter, my, my health and my happiness and Rocco's health and happiness is far more important. Um, sitting there in the police station having to explain what happened and listing all the things um, and realising how much they add up to and also the inconvenience of having to go and replace those things um, was quite a, I guess, a confronting and an awakening experience. And I discovered that I was not insured. And, Fortunately, the Sardinian police were incredible and so caring and so attentive and amazingly, within the next couple of hours, they managed to find my suitcase and fortunately, I got all, well, most of my clothes back, but all my valuables and um, designer um, products and, and accessories, pretty much most of them were gone, um, including my camera. So um, obviously, you know, a disappointing thing to learn and a very expensive lesson to make, but I cannot stress enough how you must take travel insurance when traveling both, both domestically and internationally. Now, I hope, as always, um, this video is informative to, and if you have any other additional things that you think other people need to know about when it comes to taking out travel insurance, please feel free to put in the information box or comment box below. I will see you next week. I will be promised Money Monday is back and I will be filming in my next location which will either be in Sardinia, London or potentially Greece. I'll see you next I'll see you soon. Ciao. Monkey wanna say goodbye? Yeah. Come, on, come with some viewers. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> say ciao. 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 Buongiorno. Di ciao. Yeah.